one of the more critical parts of being able to move files and manage files on your iPad is the ability for um, different apps to send stuff different ways. So if we have a look within um, Goodreader, we're still in, um, there's these options down the bottom here that gives you a whole lot of different stuff. Um, and the one we're going to look at is this camera icon. So majority of the time when you're dealing with generic apps, so screen chomps and iMovies and all those sorts of things on your iPad, getting them up to a server or somewhere where everybody can see them becomes quite problematic if you don't want to share them out. So what it, what Goodreader does is sort of gives you access to your photo library. So majority of the time, most apps can export straight to your eye or your camera roll or to your photos. So if you have a look in here, say if I had a whole heap of photos that I needed to send up, um, I can keep adding these into my um, Goodreader app that I could then send to another person or put into a photo library or rename or do anything else with them. Um, this sort of also works the same way um, with uh, movies that you've created because movies are something that you generally don't do um, via email because they, they, they simply just take up too much space. So if I had all of these sorts of apps, um, oh, sorry, all these sorts of um, pictures or movie files, I can access it straight from there, then do my normal web dev um, up onto my servers um, and put all of these up on there. And I can t click upload and I'm gonna go and put these all into um, that particular folder. And then I'd be able to send them out or give them to a teacher or give them to another student um, simply by going to the um, the camera function within Goodreader because I couldn't do that straight out of the camera roll itself.